essential right now to what's happening with COVID-19. Jonathan, thanks for joining me. Tell me a little bit more about Coors Tech. We know Coors, but tell me what Coors Tech does. Yeah, Natalie, thanks for having me on today. I really appreciate it. At Coors Tech, we're based right here in Golden, Colorado. We've been here for over 100 years, and the primary work that we do is engineered ceramics. Uh, and what makes us critical, especially during these dynamic times, is the components that we produce are critical to the success of many of the major industries that are keeping the supply chain moving here in the world right now. Think about your communications, think about uh, the energy sector, think about the uh, healthcare sector, something that's very important to us right now, something close and top of mind for, for many of us. So we're I just- talk, Yeah, I wanna talk specifically about some of those products in just a moment, but I think people will find it interesting. First of all, you have over a thousand employees here in Golden, but internationally, 6,000 employees. Right. You had a little bit of a heads up when we talk about uh, what's happening here in America, because you saw this and the coronavirus happening in um, in Asia in your your offices there in Korea and Japan, right? Yeah, we did, and um, it was interesting. We we were monitoring it very closely because um, obviously we have actually 1,500 employees in Japan and almost 250 in South Korea, so it's an important part of our workforce. And as a family-owned private business, the health and safety of our employees is top of mind, especially through dynamic times like this. And so we were paying very close attention not only to how our employees were, do, were doing health-wise, but the different, uh, res, uh, the different uh, regulations that these different countries were putting in place. How did that change how you handled things here in your Colorado facility? What are you doing now and what did you do early on? Yeah, so uh, one of the things that we noticed early on was the importance of health screening, especially in our uh, South Korean facilities. Um, South Korea has been discussed quite frequently as a good example of how a country uh, rallied quickly to help uh, flatten the curve, yeah. if you will. And what we saw in our South Korean facility is a very um, simple but important step of health screening, taking temperatures and asking simple questions of each of our employees uh, twice daily, actually, to see how they were doing. And I think the the impact of that was was both beneficial for people's health, but also also for their psychological health. Yeah, you have the confidence of your employees there, which uh, you told me that you have most of your uh, workforce here in Colorado coming in every day that they're doing well. Yeah, that, that's right. And I think what we learned uh, and implemented quickly here in the U.S. and across the rest of our company is this notion of helping people realize that if they're sick, we'd like them to stay home, uh, but then also partner with them to make sure that if they're coming to work, that we have the appropriate screening methods in place to ensure that not only they're healthy, but the folks that are interacting with them and their fellow employees are also, also healthy. So we've established uh, daily temperature screening at every single one of our facilities, including all of our offices. And we do re daily health screening questions as well, similar to the questions that you see the CDC talking about on a regular yeah. basis. Yeah, really important. Okay, yeah. let's talk about manufacturing if we can. We know you have uh, several items, products that are being used in the fight here against COVID-19. Tell me about those. Yeah, I think that's a great question. And I think what makes Coors Tech so unique in our desire to want to make the world measurably better and really living out that vision is we have both indirect and direct impacts. So the work that we do in the semiconductor space and the, the components that we produce help uh, keep the supply chain of chips going that help build the data centers uh, that are powering this, this shift in work from home that we're seeing and the increased bandwidth that we're all, I think, wrestling with as we're trying to figure out how to have a Zoom call with our kids yeah. and, uh, and a work meeting at the same time. But then also directly um, on the healthcare side, we produce vacuum interrupters that go into CT scanners, which we know uh, scanning of the chest area is an important uh, portion of what our first line, uh, frontline uh, healthcare workers are doing to determine uh, the health of the folks who are uh, may have COVID-19. Uh, and also, we're producing some substrates that uh, for Ford that are going into their ventilators. And there's two of those substrates in every single ventilator, and those are actually being made right here in Colorado, and that's exciting for us. And then in Europe. 
uh, we're also producing some components that go into thermometers, as well as some substrates for oxygen uh, generation. And so um, as we better understand this virus, and uh, we're just excited and pleased that we can be a part of the solutions that uh, many men and women across this globe are trying to solve uh, by different different uh, ceramic solutions that we can put in those systems. Well, it's really nice uh, to see how you're helping out also to see how your employees are doing and how you're handling it there thank as you. the head of the company. So thank you so much for your time. All the best to you, your employees and your family. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.